Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. I welcome you to my YouTube channel on network security and cloud as I have started a series of video lectures on how I did my certifications related to network security and cloud, which is going to be helpful for others who are preparing for the certification. So today we are going to see one of the most important certification which we have. It is related to disaster recovery. So all those working in data centers who are understand how to do disaster recovery. So we have EC Council certified disaster recovery certification. Let us see how I did this certificate. So for others who are planning to do the certification related to EDRP, let us see what are the techniques I have been using. So sharing my screen here. All right, so this is how I did my EDRP uh, global certification. So this is EC Council Disaster Recovery Professional. This is the latest version which we have, EDRP V3. So these are the modules, we have 12 modules. So the first one is Introduction to Disaster Recovery and Business Continuity, Business Continuity Management, what is risk assessment, business impact analysis, business continuity planning, disaster recovery planning process, data backup strategies, data recovery strategies, virtualization based disaster recovery, system recovery, centralized and decentralized system recovery, BCP testing, maintenance and training. So we are going to cover all these modules. Once you attend the official training, there are 12 modules and then you have the theoretical concepts and there are also labs which you know you'll be attending once you go through the training you will be doing labs related to all these 12 modules so this is the latest brochure edrp v3 i am going to include that in description so it will be helpful for you to go through this course in detail to see what's being covered in the course but these are 12 modules and if we talk about exam so 150 questions Passing score is 70%, test duration is four hours, and there are only MCQ questions. So you will not be tested on your lab, which you'll be doing. There'll be no lab scenarios, but yes, you will have multiple choice questions. So there are no practical questions, like you know, you are, uh, you know, you no need to go through the simulations and all that. So the test delivery is through EC Council exam portal, where you need to make a profile <clears throat> on EC Council exam portal, and also, you need to have a profile on Aspen portal where you'll be able to download all the content. So they recommend that you go through their PDF, which you can download, it's a lifetime access and the planning. So this official course would be five days, 40 hours. So that is five into eight is equal to 40 hours, which you need to spend to go through the training, right? So this is CA certified. I am certified EC Council instructor. This is a badge from them and I am authorized to teach their courses. So this is EDRP brochure. So you'll get a brochure, you will also get a certificate that you did this exam. So if I talk about the planning for this exam, so six days to go through the course content, two modules each day. So you can take, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six days to go through the content, six days to go through the lab, just an overview because it will be easy for you to pass your exam. So exam is not that easy, it's not that hard, but once we go through a lab, it will be easy for us to pass this exam. Three days to go through practice questions. I have already included all the resources in one of my video lectures, which says four websites you need to visit for any exam. Please go to the website. So those are the same resources, a VC plus or IT exams or exam topics or YouTube. So EC Council will not appreciate you to cheat in the exam, but you will be able to see some practice questions which they ask earlier. So it gives you an overview because time is very important so you can manage your time. Although you might not be able to see same questions, but you might be able to see similar questions. So it will be easy for you to save your time and three days to revise. So I would say go spend one month in this exam and that's it about EDRP. So EDRP is again, AC Council Disaster Recovery Professional. It is for those guys who are into disaster recovery or working with data centers, and they need to know the best techniques to get started with disaster recovery. 
So this is the certificate which is recommended. So if you have any questions related to EDRP, do let me know. There might be some other vendors who are providing similar certification, but this is one of the relevant certifications for all those who are planning into disaster recovery. Yes, you will have an idea and I completely understand you'll be doing disaster recovery based on your experience. There are a lot of things where you know you get stuck and you try to troubleshoot, but this will help you to get started with this job where you will have an idea what are the different tools you need to use. So if you are stuck with any of the topics, you will have a lot of tools which you will be using in this course. So that's it about EDRP. Thank you for all your comments. Please do like, subscribe, share and comment on the video to keep me motivated. So I am coming up with some other interesting videos. Please support me as usual. Thank you very much.